This is Captain Philip with Airworthy Tours, your guy in the sky. And today we're taking a tour of Oakland, California, which is a historic and culturally significant city. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the tour. The city of Oakland was founded in 1852 by Horace Carpentier, Edison Adams, and Andrew Moon. As you could imagine, Oakland got its name due to a large oak forest that originally covered the area. However, to know Oakland is to know its nicknames, which are Oaktown or simply just the town. With a population of 430,000, Oakland is the third largest city in the San Francisco Bay Area. The town is also very diverse, and here are the demographics according to the U.S. Census Bureau. Oakland serves as a trade center for the Bay Area. Below is the Port of Oakland, which is the busiest port in Northern California and the fifth busiest in the United States. And while not as known as Silicon Valley in San Francisco, Oakland has a burgeoning tech industry and startup ecosystem. According to Oakland.gov, there are over 500 tech startups based or operating in the town. Known tech companies include Pandora and Ask.com. However, this has caused a major spike in the cost of living, leading to many longtime and working class residents to move out of Oakland. Downtown Oakland sits off of Lake Merritt. Lake Merritt is a unique lake with both freshwater and saltwater. It is the largest lake of its kind in an urban area and home to the United States' oldest wildlife refuge dating back to 1870. Ahead is the Tribune Tower, which served as the home of the Oakland Tribune from 1924 to 2007. Architecture for the Tribune Tower was heavily inspired by the Tower of St. Mark's Basilica in Venice, Italy. In 1923, Harry Houdini performed a stunt where he broke free from his straitjacket while dangling from the ninth story. In 1989, the 6.9 magnitude Loma Prieta earthquake rattled the Bay Area. The Tribune Tower suffered so much damage that it was left abandoned and when it reopened for nearly a decade after renovations and repairs were completed. Ahead is Oakland City Hall, completed in 1914. It stands at 320 feet. It was the first high-rise government building in the United States. Its exterior is made up of white granite and terracotta. Like Tribune Tower, City Hall faced massive damage. After the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake, the building was shut down. Instead of tearing it down and replacing it with a newer building, City Hall leaders decided to retrofit it seismically and it can now move 18 to 20 inches in an earthquake. Now, let's talk sports. Oakland has a unique and decorated sports history. Oakland was one of the smallest cities to include three professional teams, which were the Oakland Raiders, the Golden State Warriors, and the Oakland Athletics. The town has seen a lot of athletic success and has won a total of 17 professional championships. And the town has produced some incredible and legendary athletes such as Bill Russell, Marshawn Lynch, Gary Payton, Jason Kidd, Damian Lillard, and more. However, Oakland now only has one professional team, the Athletics. As the Warriors moved across the bay to San Francisco, and the Raiders moved all the way to Las Vegas. Below is the Oakland African American Museum. Since its founding, African Americans have been an integral part of Oakland. The town's black population exploded during the Second Great Migration between 1940 to 1970. This is an event that my family took part of as my grandma moved from Northern Louisiana to Oakland in 1964. One of Oakland's most iconic and historical contributions was the Black Panther Party. The Black Panthers were founded in 1966 by Huey P. Newton and Bobby Seal as a self-defense group to combat police brutality in the city. 
Below is the old Black Panther headquarters, also known as Central Headquarters. Central Headquarters was the hub for all national party decisions and directives, and housed the Black Panther Party newspaper staff. However, the group expanded to providing social services, including breakfast and lunch programs for children, free health clinics, and sickle cell testing. Below is St. Augustine Church, which was the site of the first breakfast programs. The program started as a modest event and quickly grew, feeding thousands of hungry children within a few weeks of its launch. This program continues to be the basis of the current school breakfast programs across the country today. Between 1966 to 1982, the Black Panthers would open offices in 68 major cities, and even in different countries, such as the United Kingdom and Algeria. If you enjoyed today's tour, you can tip your tour guide by hitting the like button. Also, make sure you're subscribed to the channel to be a part of future aerial tours. And we have other tours of the Bay Area, which you can see right here. Thank you for flying with Airworthy Tours, and we look forward to seeing you on our next flight.